and welcome to another video by ES Repair. I am your host, Mr. Fixit. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you a new adapter here uh, by Alexum, and this is a, a very handy tool. Now, you may have seen my previous videos where I've showed you how to use a USB to a SATA adapter to where you can uh, transfer data from your SATA drives or your hard drives. Well, this one here is slightly different. Uh, this one is designed to be able to transfer data from the NVM Express or non-volatile memory express type drives that you see here. Now there are uh, three different, two different types. You have the one like this one, which is the uh, in non-volatile memory express, which is a lot faster. Uh, you also have the other one, which is like a behaves just like a solid state drive does. And they're very, they're very interesting. I mean, you can see just how thin these things are. Now, some of them can produce a lot of heat, depending on uh, what they, the speed of them, and what they can do. Now, this one here is just a basic, uh, four, about four and a half watt uh, NVM Express drive. Now, I got this one in a new computer that I just built, and I was amazed just as how fast these things can go. Um, the fastest speed I was able to get this to go is about 20 gigabytes per second, which is a lot faster than a traditional solid state drive. Now, if you're trying to change out one of these, like this one here, for example, is a 250 gigabyte drive. Uh, let's say that you're wanting to replace it, uh, get put something bigger in there, like say a terabyte. Um, well, it's kind of difficult to do when you only have one uh, one port to plug these things in. Uh, this is an M2 uh, drive or M.2 drive. That's what a lot of people will call them. And some computers only have one of these. So in order to transfer your data, you're going to have to have some kind of adapter to be able to transfer the data from your old one to your new one. And this is where that is going to come in. This is their new uh, USB adapter. Uh, this is for the USB to M.2 solid state drives uh, like these here. Now this one here will accept uh, the M key, the M plus B key, but it will not accept the B key. Now if you want to get one of these, uh, just look in the video description below. Uh, I do have links for it uh, if you want to get one of these. When you get your um, item, uh, this is what you're going to have. Uh, you're going to get a thank you message from them. Uh, it also gives you uh, support information if you have any questions or any problems. Uh, you also get the user manual. Uh, this right here will show you how to uh, connect everything and gives you some tips on get the most out of the device. You also get the thermal compound uh, for some of the ones that do get uh, produce a lot of heat. Uh, because this is a metallic casing, aluminum casing, which allows it to help dissipate heat. Uh, you also get a, uh, an extra uh, sh um, aluminum contact so you can help dissipate the heat. Uh, you also get uh, two different cables. Uh, you have one that is a uh, type C to type C connector. Uh, this adapter here is a type C connector. So if your computer has a type C plug, then you can use the standard uh, type C to type C um, and plug it into your computer. Now if you don't have a type C, they also provide you an, um, an adapter where you can use the standard uh, type A connector with a type C. Now this is compatible to USB 2.0 and USB 1.1. Now the, the speed of the data transfer is going to depend on the port. So uh, USB 1.1 is limited to 12 megabits per second. Uh, USB 2.0 is limited to 480 megabits per second. And USB 3.0 can go up to uh, 5. Uh, if you have a generation 1, then it will go up to 10 gigabits per second. So it's going to depend on the hardware on the computer as to how fast you can get. But this can go up to 10 gigabits per second. 
Now the heart, the drive casing here, as you can see, it's got holes in it to allow air to flow, um, a heat sink to allow it to dissipate heat. It has the LED that shows you the activity, and of course you have your uh, Type C connector. On the bottom, you'll have a lock button here. This allows you, when you push it, to unlock it, and then you can just slide it right off. And inside you'll see the latches. Now these latches are used to lock down the drive as I'm going to show you here in a moment. Uh, if you look in there uh, you'll see the connection. Uh, as you can see it only accepts the M key and the M plus B keys. Uh, if you just put a B, a B key drive in here it won't fit. Now the first thing you'll do is once you have it apart you're going to take the drive and then you're going to line up the notch that is on the drive. You want to line it up to the notch that you see on the adapter. Now you'll have to put them in at a 45 degree angle, like so. Now you don't want to use too much force. Uh, you'll feel it uh, slide in there. You want it to have a nice smooth contact. You don't. It shouldn't wobble or anything like that. Once you have it all the way in, you'll see I have it at a 45 degree angle. Just gently push it down and you're going to see a lock. Now once you're locked into place, uh, now you're ready to use the device. Once it connects, you're going to see the light. You're going to hear it blink. You're going to see it blinking. This shows you the activity that's going on. The blue light means that it's on. If it flashes, it means that data is being transferred. Now once you have it plugged in, you may see a pop-up notification in the lower right here. Uh, just click on it and then choose open the view. Uh, or if you, if you don't, just go down here to File Explorer. And then go to this PC. Now you may see it pop up here, uh, which in this case you do. Um, but if you're not sure, you can always click here. And you'll also see it pop up under this PC. Um, this one here is the primary drive, this is the C drive, and your other one should show up probably like a local disk or whatever the name of the disk is, uh, it will show up here. Double click it and now you're able to see all the contents of that drive. So you can either transfer your data from your drive to your computer or if you're cloning, transferring the data from your old drive to your new one, then this is a great way to do that process. Especially if you're using the, the non-volatile memory express drives, then that way, because some computers only have one, like the one I built. So this makes it easier to transfer the data from the old drive to the new one. Well, I'm your host, Mr. Fixit. Be sure to subscribe and like the video down below. This helps uh, the channel to do more videos. Um, if you have any problems, uh, you can contact their support. Uh, I will also have their link down below if you have any questions. So stay tuned for more videos by ES Repair.